Hey, it's Mr. Johns. It has been weeks since I've played Forza Motorsport. In fact, so long that I forgot what I was racing. So looks like I have finished the Modern Tour and I'm up here in the Power Tour and I'm playing, of course, my favorite style of car, the iconic muscle cars. And so it looks like I have done one race. <laughs> Don't even remember. My plan was to play this weekly, if not more, but play it weekly like I was a professional race car driver with a weekly race. And I'd practice during the week, and then on the weekend I would race the race. That was the goal. And maybe eventually I'll do that. But too many things going on, too many other games popping out, um, too many other hobbies, um, all that stuff. So um, looks like we are racing Homestead, Miami, which for years was like the last race in the NASCAR circuit. So. I should be fairly familiar with this track uh, because I followed followed NASCAR for a while. Let's just see if we can do a quick upgrade. I uh, always want to check that and looks like uh, no, no changes at all um, to the car. So we'll just go ahead and finish upgrades and then go back to continue. Then of course I'm gonna do some practice and then we'll do the race and I'm not gonna bore you with the practice. So I'm gonna go, uh, do a couple laps here and then we'll see we'll see if i remember how to drive and we'll come back and do the homestead race momentarily all right here we are at the race i think i selected fourth place for starting position remember that's an option in this game you don't qualify you get to gamble on your starting position which is so weird but it's okay you get more points the further back you start, and, you know, I don't really care. So um, I'd rather finish on the podium and preferably win. So I am going to always take a – I mean, I took fourth. I could have taken third. So that's my – you know, that's my uh, – that was a terrible start. That's my uh, compromise. <laughs> it's fourth. Um, I mean, it's hard enough game as it is, right? So um, instead of passing 24 cars or whatever, I just have to pass five, four. Well, you know, three. <laughs> but I'm, I lost a couple positions on the start. But this is good. I mean, I like to be able to follow three or four cars for a while, get comfortable with the track. And by the way, Homestead, Miami, this is the, definitely the NASCAR track. But, um, of course, being the Builder's Cup here, they – slice up the track and make you zigzag in the infield and you're very briefly on the actual there's a camaro let's take him out you're very briefly on the actual oh, go straight on the nascar track which i'll show you here in a second so uh looks like you know speed wise again it looks like i'm fine i just have to out drive these guys Another Camaro. Let's take him on the outside. Show him what a Mustang's all about. It's not a very easy track. I mean, it's just a lot of tight zigzags. All right, got another Mustang in front of us. We'll give him some respect. And being a five-lap race, I can't be too patient, but I still have plenty of time to pass two cars, so... Looks like probably on the straightaway I can take this guy. Come on now. And then we got to be a little careful here. See here, you think you go up around that big uh, bank there, but no, you have to cut in and play on in the infield in these tight little ins and outs. But so it's really tight here. Second place, that's great on the second lap. Really, I could just follow this uh, nice blue with white stripe Mustang and just try to stay on the track myself i still don't have a rear view mirror set up um, to see where cars are behind me but i don't see any arrows popping up so that is typically well not typically that is how they show you indicate that there's a car behind you or coming up behind you careful so having not played this for gosh probably five weeks six weeks long time Ooh, out of the grass there buddy um 
Leveled up to 21 on the car level. That's good. Break, 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 break. That was terrible. Come on now. All right. Okay. Lost that position. No penalty at least. That's good. Man, I was breaking so hard I pulled the desk away from the wall somehow. <laughs> so, all right. We don't want to blow this guy out. Um, play race fair here. But we're about halfway through the race, two and a half laps, so that means I need to start making my move. So you can see it's hard enough passing three or four cars, let alone 24. Um, so with my driving skills, right? So I've come to the conclusion that I'm not great, and I don't care. It's fine. I'm, it's all about having fun. So it's, it's funny when you post videos online, you get comments from people who are just mean telling you how much I suck. So, um, it's one reason I don't play multiplayer, ever. It's just not worth that kind of abuse. Not my thing. So, you know, I'm not here to be number one in the world, um, or even in the race, um, against real people. I just want to have fun and do as good as I can. And if I can finish first, awesome. Um, and I'm beating AI cars, and so I don't have to take abuse from any human. I mean, I don't care if AI guys cuss me out, tell me I'm terrible. They're just robots. But that is not my style to tell somebody how much they suck. Um, it's just not nice. Not necessary, honestly. Does no good. All right, we're going to have to make some moves here. <clears throat> the first place guy is getting a little far away. Now, I, I am in third position, so that does put me on the podium, which is always my goal. But um, here we are in second. But I think first would be the preference, don't you? So a little tough here between third and second gear on this track. It's a little too fast for second, sometimes a little too slow for third. Let's see if we can gain on this. Nice looking, probably Shelby, with the stripes and the coloring. But he's got a pretty good speed going. We're going to have to do everything we can with a lap and a half to go, which means push it, but not go off the track. It's going to be tough. Here's a tough corner. It's always tight, tight, tight. But at least I can see him. He's in my view. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Third gear. He pulls out again. I mean, he's a he's a he's a fast car. Second gear so I can tuck in tight. Whoa. I should have tucked in tighter than that. Whoa, and then oversteer. Woo! So you know, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, racing, playing Forza Motorsport, difficulties with my steering wheel. Logitech 922, I think it is. Uh, just getting it set up right. I mean, it's just... Okay, way too fast again. That was my fault. That was totally my fault. Totally, totally my fault. Yeah, I deserve to lose a position. But I don't want to lose two positions. Let's go. I don't want to be fourth. I want to be on podium. So now I'm just hoping to be podium. So third... That corner is really tough on me. So getting, um, you know, steering wheel is definitely the way to go with a racing game. It just feels, you know, especially if you're a driver and you got your driver's license, this is, it feels right. I wouldn't want to play with a joystick. We're gonna play a little bit, oh, I got a warning, okay. I was gonna say we're gonna play a little bit rough. <laughs> but no penalty, so that's good. Let's go. I got a warning for being just a little bit uh, rough there. Final lap. Let's try to keep this position. I think the smartest thing here is not even to try to beat the first place guy. Honestly, keep, keep the third place guy off my tail and just try to stay in the lane. So, and the, the downside to having a, being a driver of so many years um, is 
you expect your steering wheel setup to drive like your like a real car, right? Uh, so I dr uh, drive, race, and steer like I would do in my real Mustang. Um, but this does not act at all like that. So that's what throws me off. So I think maybe the advantage would be maybe to be a younger player with no driver's license and you really don't know the feel of a real steering wheel. And you just learn this setup. Like I know, and I've said this before, I'm also a driver's education instructor, so years and years of experience behind the wheel. Um, and so it's not a lack of real driving experience. <laughs> That's for sure. It's being able to control what this wheel is doing. Still working on it. And I, you know, if I play every six weeks, it's not gonna, it's not gonna improve much. I've gotta play more. So we'll take that second position. That's not terrible. Um, it's not terrible. Let's see what kind of boost we get here. So this is the second event out of five. I'm in second position by, uh, oh, I'm tied. No, he's got 28 points. I'm three points behind. Oh, that's interesting. Total points, I am tied. So in this race, I got 25, he got 28. Um, so we are tied technically. Uh, I dropped from first to second, but we're tied uh, technically for first in position. So uh, let's see what kind of upgrades we get. So there's the three Mustangs. Love that Mustangs, all three Mustangs made the top three. And second, and I took second. So that's, that's okay. So let's see what we get. My driver level is 32. There's some points, 23, 650 in points and credits. Let's see what kind of upgrades we get. Any upgrades? No upgrades? No upgrades. Oh, here, come on, no upgrades? Let's go to performance and see what we got. Quick upgrade, see if we get, I didn't, there was no, that was the first time we've raced a race and not gotten any uh, performance parts as gifts. Uh, however, it is letting me, that's interesting, it's letting me do some upgrades, which is going to jump me from 600 to 653 in, in uh, car points, and so let's do that. It's going to also improve the way it performs. I could have done that manually, of course, to control more about where I spent those points, but I trust the, the quick upgrade is usually pretty good, so... I think we're good we're gonna click continue and so hey thanks for joining with me and driving in the shotgun seat at uh homestead miami and i'll catch you next time when i'm here at watkins Glen. for now mr johns is out